Hi, I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. Today we're talking about closet augers. One of these is a closet auger, one of them isn't. Come back and I'm going to show you how to use them and why you should know how. And we're going to do it right now. Okay guys, I've got two augers in my hand. This one is a closet auger. This is actually a urinal auger. As you see, it's got a smaller cable. It's shorter. This is made for literally cleaning out the trap in a urinal. This is one you probably want to have at home because cleaning out your toilet with a closet auger can save you several hundred dollars. Now this closet auger is brand new, so I'm not worried about putting my hands on it. But you've got two different parts here. You've got your handle and your shaft over here, but then this is the bulb that is actually the sewer cable that's going to go down into the toilet. So whenever you've got a clogged toilet, if your water level's full, be real careful. You may want to put towels around and things like that, because as you put this in and move this around, you may cause that water level to move, and I don't want you to mess up your floor or mess it up any more than it really already is. So the first thing you want to do on a closet auger is reach up and pull the handle up because you want that cable right down at the very end. Because whenever you put it in, you want to make sure that the head of that snake goes back in because you want it to go up and in through the P-trap and then all the way down into the drain to try to clear out as much as you can. Now, as you can see, this toilet is not really mounted. There's no water in it or anything like that. And it's actually mounted to the top of this steel table. So I can't push this cable all the way in. But what I'm going to show you is what you want to do is as you're pushing this in, you want to grab this up here and spin this around. And as you push down, you're gonna keep spinning that cable by hand and pushing it all the way down. Now the good thing that I like about this rigid cable, as you can see, it's six feet long. So what that means is, although I have three feet sticking out of the bottom of it, you can actually pull it up, press on this extender right here, and now, as you're pushing in, you can go even further. And now I've actually added three extra feet of cable to my closet auger. So I can go all the way down through the lead bin into the sanitary tee and maybe even down towards the bottom of the stack a little bit. Six feet of cable going in from a toilet is actually a pretty good distance to go in. Whenever you get ready to pull it back out, bring it up here in the toilet, reach down. And remember, once you're working on this when it's been in the toilet, you probably want to wear rubber gloves. Press on that button and stick that shaft in, slide it all the way in until it locks. Once it locks, you'll see the pin again, put it in, and remember, the towel's on the floor, this is gonna have water in it. Any water that was in your bowl is gonna be in here. Fold it up, lock it up, put a towel under it, carry it outside and let it dry out. Guys, a closet auger is a great thing to have. This can literally go further down. It's gonna break up a solid that maybe a plunger may not break up. And the thing that I like about this new rigid closet auger is you can unscrew the handle and there's actually a shaft there that you can put a drill motor on it. So once you get it all the way in there, if you really wanna clean it out good, a drill motor will, will actually increase your RPMs on it. And sometimes these things are really awkward to rotate depending on where you have them at. Guys, I really like the closet auger. I love having them around the house. Anytime there's a serious stoppage, this can normally take care of it as long as it's just your toilet. If you're starting to get water back up over in your shower or bathtub, the blockage may be further down. It could even be your whole main. But what you want to do is keep an eye on it. If it's just your toilet, chances are with a plunger used the right way or a closet auger used the right way, you might be able to take care of it yourself and save you some money. Guys, if you like these videos, please click on the subscribe button. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you've got a closet auger and if you use it. My name is Roger Wakefield with Texas Grain Plumbing, saving you money one drop at a time.